Hello and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we're going to review a statue of Gremlin Brain, of course from New Batch 2. It's actually by the company Applause and it came out in 1990. Mostly everybody is reviewing, well, okay, everybody is reviewing the NECA Brain, which was a reissue later by the company NECA. Um, bigger, more poseable. And I think that it is different. So we're going to compare the two later, but right now we're going to talk about the first brain. And this is the first action figure that ever came off a of brain. And I guess he was writing calling it a statue because it doesn't move, but it's like PVC, so it's kind of like an action figure material, and it's not going to break if you drop it or whatever, which is nice. Yes, I consider it um, a toy myself. I don't don't always think. Well, sometimes it's obviously like really a hardcore, and then uh, I consider it a statue, like where it's harder material. But in this one, I think even though it lacks uh, points of articulation that other people may be looking for, it to me encapsulates the entire image of brain that I remember captured me from the start when I saw this gremlin suddenly almost undergoing a sort of a gothic transformation, one may say, because he is going through this. Period of enlightenment, but in a gothic style where he's still a gremlin and he shares the savagery to an extent And at the same time he is also Interested in more mental pursuits a different approach a different perspective. So it's kind of interesting He becomes alchemically Changed I guess alchemically changed. Yes, that's very good Even his pose here in the figure is characteristic uh, He is holding the pipe to an extent symbolizing physical pursuits while his other hand is holding close to the head which again is the balance of the mental capacity and he's also very developed uh, there were theories of him uh, being the uh, successor of the brown gremlin and he still has those characteristic brown hues uh, his eyes are very well developed with reptilian slits as most gremlins his mouth is open and you can see his teeth. His claws uh, under, on which he is standing are very well developed, three on each foot. And overall he is standing on this pedestal like surface that's also black and contributes to the gothic atmosphere. And his ears are very cute, they're elongated and uh, I personally like them that way. And of course he is fully dressed in a sweater and pants. So again, suit that jacket. He's got the suit jacket. Suit jacket, jacket. yes. And and the the brown gremlin theory was mine because he's brown and there was a brown gremlin in the first movie that was like a generic that Nick also made. So I'm thinking, I wonder if that's brain before he changed. And you know, yes, the new batch wasn't supposed to be in the first movie, but like if we're just saying, what if they were? What if it was all one big batch of gremlins? Because I wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not how we did it in our fanfic. We separated them. Um, we have fanfic.net with some gremlin writing on it that we will leave a link to. You get to get into the heads of the gremlins, Stripe and Brain and Phantom, and if you want to know how they're all together, check it out and find out because it's explained very well. But see that figure? It has its glasses on. Yeah. I love that. They don't come off. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Now, if you want to see him without the glasses, our glasses got lost from the NECA figure. Here, you want to show the NECA figure? Yes. Um, this is the NECA figure. This is the one everybody's been reviewing. We're not trying to review it because everybody else has done that. We're just showing you as a comparison. He's much bigger. He's posable. Um, here, you can see him without his glasses because they got lost. I don't know how because he was still here. So why aren't his glasses here somewhere when they were together in the same place at one point? Um, we moved in a moving demon. Every time you move, you know how something's banished. It's because there's a moving demon that eats your shit. <laughs> I mean, really, it's like everything was in this one box, so therefore there wasn't another box to get lost. And if Brain is still in the box, why aren't the glasses still in the box? Well, we don't know. It's a mystery. But the NECA one doesn't have pants either. And we didn't lose those. He just didn't come with pants. I guess that was an earlier stage in the movie before he got the pants. But it's nice to have the applause figure with the pants. And the glasses, and even though he's not poseable, the glasses won't come off. And he's in a cool pose, and it gives him a character and personality. And you can still play with it, whereas you can't with a ceramic statue or something. But yet, like a statue, it can still be decor, which is cool. And it can look cool in your house, because it looks cool to have gremlins sitting around. Hello. So, um, I don't know. I 
guess I like the original brain a little better, but the NECA one's cool. I mean, I don't hate it. Um, I didn't love NECA Stripe, but that's why I don't have it. Um, but, you know, I wish NECA had made his glasses stay on, if, and if they wanted them to come off, like, make it where they could have come off with some effort, but, you know, they wouldn't just come off, like, off his face, because we didn't take them off when they got lost. So, you know, um, you know, where they can come off, but you have to go through effort. So that's all I'm going to say about the NECA, because it's been reviewed by other people, but it just would have been really great if they would have come off and on. So it's nice to see his face without the glasses, too, but you know, where you'd have to go through some effort to get them off and get them back on where they won't just accidentally fall or whatever into the abyss of the moving demon's mouth or wherever they went. <laughs> it's kind of funny for me to see them stay inside by side. It's almost like a father and son figure. Brain duplicated <laughs> himself. Oh my God. <laughs> Stripe wants everyone to know because I channel Stripe that that would be bad. Very bad. He likes one brain well enough on certain days, but not two. I think I like each of them, it's just like on different occasions. The bigger one, of course, is really well developed too, but the smaller one is sort of easier to take with you to, to look, to be inspired by, so it's kind of interesting to have each for each occasion. Yeah, if we're going out somewhere to an appointment or somewhere boring, we like to throw a figure in a backpack with us and just take it and have something to fiddle with when we're bored. It, it works if you're not in the mood to read. <laughs> and the smaller ones are definitely more portable and it can be a fun conversation piece. But I think for a small scale, he is very well developed too, like I don't have any problems with him. I see all the features that I remember, the position is characteristic and classic, so I would give it a 5 out of 5. I think it's great. I like it a lot. So we are going to do more Gremlins figure reviews, so stay tuned for those. And again, we're not doing NECA because everybody did NECA. We are doing the ones that came out from 90 that we're interested in or 84 with the original movie because you can still find them online if you look on eBay and Amazon, mainly eBay. So um, we are going to be reviewing those because they're the ones that interest us and because we don't like to review things that everybody else has done a million times. Um, so please stay tuned for more of the Gremlins reviews and check out our Gremlin fanfic that we'll leave a link to in the comments for fanfic.net because it's a fun story. It's fun to get into the heads of the Gremlins and see why they do what they do and what they're doing. and. You know, if you saw both movies, How the Hell, Brain, Stripe, and Phantom are all hanging out together. And if any serious Gremlins fans are watching, I cannot find any Phantom other than NECA. I wondered if Applause had made one or something. I saw some little, oh god, porcelain or ceramic or something Phantom and George statues for an insane price, like 200 bucks. And I don't want them anyway, so that's good that the price... It's not tempting me. I, I wouldn't want it even if it was free, because I don't want breakable stuff. Um... But anyway, the point is, that's the only other Phantom item I have seen. And then the NECA Phantom, which I have. And so, I, I just don't know if Applause made him and nobody's selling him, or if they didn't make him. Because um, I've seen the Gremlin with the Chef Spoon, I've seen Greta, several Gizmos, um, Mohawk and Brain by Applause. But it's like, they should have made more, like, they... Should have made Phantom, he's so cool. And I can't even find a list online of like what gremlins did applause make. Like everybody's just neck and neck and neck and it's like, okay, but other figures were made. And I can't even find a full list. Like I, it says like applause made plush, applause made, you know, um, PVC. It doesn't really tell you like which characters they made. So if anybody knows about another Phantom out there other than NECA and Phantom of the Opera, haha, -ha, which we already know about, um, Phantom Gremlin figure other than NECA, please leave us a note and tell us. And even if it's not for sale now, like just if I know what to look for, I can keep trolling eBay. So that would be really cool. So thank you guys. Um, hope to see you subscribing and liking and any comments and thoughts you have. Hope you like seeing our old style vintage Gremlins and have a spooky day.